organization has a vision, strategy is needed to achieve the vision. People are important to achieve and implement strategy. This is how HR comes in, a strategic partnership to the organization by looking at their vision and mission and putting together the right processes to achieve the objectives. To put human capital in place, processes need to be followed. This is done through recruitment and successful selection. Microsoft was chosen as a case study. We will prove that HR selection methods correlate directly with our organizational success. Microsoft's mission and vision was to grow its revenue, to increase staff retention and to be locally relevant. In order this to happen, HR needs to implement methodologies for the right selection, to put the right person at the right place at the right time. Steps include job specification, internal and external recruitment, competency-based methodology leading to selection of preferred fit leading to appointment. To outline the HR process, that uh, Microsoft use in terms of going about appointing a person in a managerial position? So okay. Like a guideline that you use? Sure. Um, essentially, from a methodologies and best practice point of view, we have um, the blueprint that comes through from a global perspective. According to Sarah Mueller, corporate selection must focus on role description, personal specification, which must be in line with legislation framework. These are the fundamentals of the right job. That is in terms of um, recruitment. Absolutely. And then when it comes to selection, so you've already gathered this bunch of potential candidates. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about then in terms of selecting okay. and appointing the person? Okay. What we also have is in the hiring manager briefing, we have a link to what we call our competencies because we do competency-based interviewing, and a lot of our hiring managers are not all fair, especially if they're new managers, mm -hmm. because like I said, the succession planning component. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we give them the link so that they can take competencies, and we then obviously um, guide them as to which ones are key Microsoft competencies. So things like cross-collaboration, um, people management, those are critical, especially at managerial level. Competency-based screening starts with competency-based recruitment. This is to look at the candidate's CV to make sure that this is in line with business strategy. As per Microsoft recruitment and selection process, it's the three-candidate rule. Having done that, we get the three candidates and run through the process. In the hiring manager discussion as well, we already identify individuals who will be involved in the interview loop, what we call the interview loop, who it is that's going to be part of the interview process. In the interview loop, everybody is assigned certain competencies. They ask questions around certain competencies and then rate according to those competencies. And when they give feedback, it's consistent. That feedback gives us the successful candidate. Structured interviews have shown to be twice as effective as unstructured. Standardized form are used to prevent rambling and also to give scoring data to panels. That's where we look at the fit. That fit is the component where you say, when you look at Microsoft, is that person a Microsoft fit? Organizational fit is taken into consideration when determining the cultural fit. Microsoft has a high performance culture in which sink or swim is the name of the game. Employment equity is also considered. From the very minute our candidates come in here, they, want, they need to want to work for Microsoft, whether they're successful or not. It's not only the candidate's obligation to sell themselves to a company during an interview, but the company also needs to put its right foot forward to interest the candidates to work for the organization. This is essential in attracting top talent. With Microsoft, their aim is for each individual or each top talent to want to work for Microsoft. Microsoft selection process includes the following. Job description, which should be clearly defined, considering of internal and external factors. Their methodology includes structured interview, which searches for key competencies, which would lead to desired outcome. Those are competencies. You'd look at 
um, driving profitability within an organization? What are the numbers behind that? You look at a person who can drive a, a highly efficient system that's already been put in place. And if you're coming from organizations like the IBMs and the Cisco's, you are indoctrinated into that. Um, I think a perfect example would be our managing director, which is also our general manager in American terms, Mte um, Tonyati. Um, he is a real success story. From the video, Microsoft had three objectives, growth, retention of staff, and to be local relevant. Through HR selective strategy, the organization achieved their desired objectives. Can you please um, describe to us the state of the business before when you got to Microsoft? Uh, one of them is, of course, the growth. Mm -hmm. From a revenue perspective, we were not meeting the expectations. The second one was uh, looking at our people. And thirdly, we were not seen as being relevant to South Africa. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, uh, BEE. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at that time, we're losing uh, 29%. What changes have you made mm -hmm. to turn around the business bottom line, the growth and the local relevance? In the first year, we were able to deliver 15% uh, growth. On the right is how Microsoft does its selection practice. On the left, this is how literature recommends companies to do it. They need to clearly draw out a defined job specification. This will be used to review the received applications. Initial screening and interview should take place. For managerial positions, this interview should be flexible in order to get maximum information from the candidate. Also, for managerial positions, cognitive, knowledge-based, and performance-based tests should be carried out. Background checks are critical. Furthermore, this would, this would then lead to a job offer. Medical examination are needed for legal implications. This is for organization such as mining, where one's ability to do one's job is determined by one's health. Ultimately, the value of a successful managerial appointment results in acquiring an individual that brings the desired outcome to the organization. Innovation, profitability, high performance, culture fit.